okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You got smarter than Achieved our objectives. The man's always gonna be better than machine. Unfortunately, you sustained life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Zurich. Hey. Still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be real. What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. <clears throat> Eleven thirty a.m. December eleventh, twenty fifty-four. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome: train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. It's gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, Brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapon hot. Strike the floor with you, Dad. I'll get 
provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode, like opening your eyes for the first time, right? Alright, use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter says you can do it. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Attack mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. Move. Holding position. It doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these, these fuckers are easy. Go ahead, hack in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open.
side. ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Hideout is just ahead. Once inside, interface with their central console. Pull any data you can. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in. And tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts. I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside, at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. Took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. They haven't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy-duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome. 
Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part, trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning, appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. Check your fire, civilians are not targets. Heads up, hostile, second floor. be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. He's heading into Old Zurich. Move. All right. Activating a new cyber ability. System paralysis. Out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. 
What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. We're taking heavy fire! That's our backup! The ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet D has a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. But remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over, you owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage.
They're using smoke grenades. Switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. Motherfuckers! Bad new blood. make a soldier out of you yet.
Good hunting. Interface with that door for me. What is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. They hacked the security robots. They brought the explosives on board. <sighs> you want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. And if it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Hang in there. 7.25. Got about five minutes. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me, they'll consider you as much. Takedown is another one of your cyber abilities. Try it out on those bots. Nice takedown, right on the button. Watch your flank, they're coming through the windows. is in the car right below you. Maybe healed by six inches of CNT, but that won't be dead when the bomb goes off. You better pick up the pace. Nice. You're getting the hang of these takedowns. 
whole thing's booby trapped. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much! Even with the computer in my head, there's not enough time! It's actually very simple. Wait. This is a maglev trap. If I reverse the polarity on just this car... There was no way to stop it and get off the train. Your DNI might show you all the options, but only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Sometimes, you have to let go. Taylor, how's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. You're being prepped for surgery now. It's gonna be okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. Increasing prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendrix? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. <laughs>